Okay, so in today's video, we're just gonna do a really quick review of the brand new ROG Phone 5's fan, which is now called the Aeroactive Cooler 5. And of course, this is corresponding with the model number of the phone. So, we already unboxed the Aeroactive Cooler 5 as shown in our other unboxing video at the top right corner there where we unbox all of the other accessories that were announced today with the ROG Phone 5. Now, the reason why that we are doing a separate review of the Aeroactive Cooler 5 is because this fan is now sold separately. It is not bundled with the phone. If you want this fan, you will have to purchase it separately. But this fan comes with an extra set of buttons which is brand new compared to the other generations of the ROG phones. And other than just these two buttons here, we also now have pogo pins instead of that connector that we used to have in the previous three generations of the ROG phone. But the cutout for the USB Type-C port is still here which is nice so you can still plug in your peripherals if you want to. And ASUS also changed the fan design here, so now the grill is going all around this side. And then it also has a direct pass through to the rear of this cooler which will be hitting the back of the phone. And the kickstand is still retained so you can lift your phone up and make it stand while using this Aeroactive Cooler 5 as well. Just like the ROG Phone 3. And of course the ROG i logo here will light up in customizable RGB lighting which can be customized through the Armory Creed software on the ROG Phone 5. And now, the installation process is also different compared to the previous generations of the ROG Phone. So, as you can see here, this is the ROG Phone 5 and at the bottom here, you got pogo pins. So as you can see here, there are a total of 5 pogo pins here and how to install the fan is pretty simple. So first, just align these two together, the Type-C port. You will actually feel the pogo pins align and snapping into that indent here. As you can see, it just goes deeper into the phone a little bit. So align through the Type-C port and then you can feel that it's in already. And then push the whole thing in. There it is, it's installed. And as you can see here, I set the eye logo here to be flashing in red color. Of course, you can customize it to however you want inside the software itself. And the fan, I have also tuned it to blow at 100% and that is because we are going to do a quick fan test and see if this fan is actually effective or not. Because as you can see from the other angle, which I'm gonna show here, the fan is really important this time because as you know, the Snapdragon 888 chipset is really hot. So what I'm gonna do now is to show you a few things. So let's just jump into Genshin Impact and I will show you how to actually tune the two buttons at the back of this Aeroactive Cooler 5 and also how this fan actually will help in terms of its cooling performance. So firstly, to actually make use of the two buttons on the Aeroactive Cooler 5, we need to swipe from the right, go into triggers and then you can see the first one is ultrasonic trigger which is these two triggers on the phone itself. Yes, these are still retained. And as you can see here, I set my left one to be attack, my right one to be run. And then you can also change it to a few different ones. As you can see here, I'm currently using in tap mode. You can use it in dual partition buttons, which means you split it into L1 and L2, but then it's kind of awkward, I would say. Then you can use swipe, slide, and this also applies to the right side if you want to do it. Let me just close this and then you can see here. Yep, there it is. So, you can also change it in a few different ways. But if you hit this little touch icon here, you can actually change it to not be simulating your touch, but also in auto repeat tapping, macro or air trigger profiles if you want to change your profile. So I'll close all this. This is perfectly fine with me. And then you can see here there's cooler buttons. So. Right now, they are not set to anything, so let me just enable it. And then you can see here, this is the L button. I'm pressing the L button at the back of the phone. And then you can see it flash. Then this is the right side. So what I'm doing here is that I want right side to be my skill, whereby left will be jump. Why not? I'm just gonna test this out anyway. Okay, so let's close this. 
And I'm also playing Genshin Impact at the highest possible graphical settings at 60 FPS, which you can see here. This is actually what we tested in our original gaming video, which actually did um, quite okay. I would say it reached all the way to 55 degrees Celsius or 56. But then the phone doesn't feel as hot as the infamous Xiaomi Mi 11, which was known to be really hot when playing Genshin Impact to the point where it thermal throttles and couldn't maintain 60 FPS. So let's test the ROG Phone 5 with the Aeroactive Cooler and see if it can manage lower temperatures this time.
となしく仕上がる<笑>こいつはどうだ So off camera I played Genshin Impact for a much longer amount of time and as you can see here the temperature never actually rises above 50 degrees Celsius. So the question is, is the ROG Phone 5's Aeroactive Cooler 5 effective? The answer is a clear yes, even though that it might not seem like it's doing much but it's definitely effective because it lowered the temperature by a total of 6 degrees throughout our test. And as mentioned in the earlier part of this video, the new Aeroactive Cooler 5 is not included with the ROG Phone 5. So you really need to purchase it separately if you want it. So the question now becomes, is this new cooler worth the price of 149 ringgit? For me personally, I think yes, if you are a gamer because now the Aeroactive Cooler 5 brings you two extra buttons at the back which is extremely handy and they are physical buttons as well which means you can get a competitive edge if you are going to play let's just say PUBG Mobile or COD Mobile, those kind of high speed games. These two buttons will be extremely useful. And secondly is to lower the temperature of the phone. As you can see in our test here, without the fan, the phone can reach at about 56 degrees Celsius which is really high. But with the fan, it doesn't go above 50 degrees Celsius which is a good thing. And the brand new Aeroactive Cooler 5 also offers these two buttons here which I have used, I'm still taking some time to get used to these two buttons but are they good or not? I would say that depends on you. From what I see here, the button curvature is a bit weird so it kind of digs into my finger a little bit. But then again, the phone's frame is still hot as I'm holding it now, yes. And combining the air triggers on the ROG phone and also these two new buttons on the Aeroactive Cooler 5, this is a very versatile gaming phone. And yeah, that's it. That's our quick review of the ASUS ROG Phone 5 with the Aeroactive Cooler accessory as you can see here. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.